we can get rid of that cache select. We can head into our container one here. And in our container one, we're going to build out a few little things. So we're going to use the same kind of replicator situation that we did before. So we want to start with a table. And in this case, we're going to make sure that ends in a null in case we want to make any alterations. We're going to give it exact dimensions. That only needs to be one column. Now you guessed it that we could use that same tricksy thing that we used up here for our cache size to determine the length of our table. So in our table, we can set the number of rows to be, oh no, what happened? Well, remember that we've got parent, right? So we're just looking up one. So what we want to do is parent two. Bingo. All right, excellent. So we've got that set up here. Let's go ahead and add, in this case, a button container, button component, excuse me. We're going to leave this right here. I'm going to leave it called button master one. I'm going to change its name here a little bit. Now I happen to know that I want its dimensions to be slightly different. I'd like it to be 280 by 160. Great. I want, in this case, I want the button to be set to be momentary. And in fact, this go around, I'm going to head into my button here. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of a whole bunch of things. I'm just going to get rid of all that stuff for right now, which is okay. I'm going to add a cache select top. Now, the cache select that I want to grab is going to be up one, up two layers called cache one. So I just have to remember where that address is, right? Dot dot slash up one, dot dot slash up two, cache one. Excellent. My cache indexed is going to be my parent digits, right? But don't forget that I want the opposite of my parent digits in this case. All right, pretty good so far looking good. Let's go ahead and attach a null to the end of it. You guessed that we're going to call it null final. Oops. We're going to go up a layer here on our button master in the panel page in the background dot slash null underscore final is going to be the thing that we look at. That looks pretty slick. We're going to go ahead and turn off the display flag on this one. We're going to add a replicator from the components panel. We can set our null to be the template that table in our button. Let's go ahead and make sure that we also make this thing a clone of itself. We talked about why we do that uh, before, right? To simplify some of what this is going to look like once we have some replicants. In a replicator callbacks, we're going to make that viewer active. And we just want to make sure that we turn on the displays for all of our replicants. We can go ahead and drag our button master down on here as our master operator. And lo and behold, wait a minute, we only have five. Let's head over to our replicator and let's make sure we turn off this ignore first row. Now we've got six. This is looking pretty good. Let's go up one more layer. All right, let's go ahead and set this to a line left to right. Let's make sure that it's got a max of three per line. And that's looking pretty fun. That's, that's, you know, making some solid progress there. I like that. I like that a lot. Not bad. Not bad at all, kids. Okay, let's take a look at what else we might want here, right? Like we might want a few other things to kind of happen. Now for, for one thing, I might want a little border to exist on this. So in my button master, I'm going to go ahead to the panel page, excuse me, to the color page. Let's turn on our borders here. And I'm just going to go ahead and give this more of like a gray kind of quality to it. That looks better. I want that to be on top. Now because I made that change to this component, I actually need to re-replicate. There we go. Nice. You know what, while I'm at it, I think what I want to do is I also want to make sure that there's a little align margin 
like four. Yeah, there we go. We've got some nice kind of grid spacing here happening. I like that a lot. That feels pretty good.